Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello friends. It's Debsy and the place to be, it's Debsy. <laughs> That's me, Debsy. Hey everybody. That always gets away from me. I just have so much fun. I just have so much fun with that. Big news, I'm getting this hair done next Monday, not this coming Monday next Monday, but that's not the big news. The big news is it is Sunday. I hope everybody is having a great day, not just a good day. Listen, this is, that's part of the whole pop culture thing. A couple weeks ago, I got myself deep, deep, deep into, <laughs> fell down the rabbit hole of Bama Rush or Rush Talk or whatever. And that is what Kylan Darnell says. Kylan Darnell, was the star of the breakout star of Bama Rush this year. I guess this is the second year of it. So that's her saying. I hope you're having a great day, not just a good day. So thank you, Kylan Darnell, for that catchphrase. It just will not leave my brain. So it is Sunday. So if it's Sunday, you know that I am talking about some pop culture. So let's get right into it right now. I really wish I could come up with like a cool pop culture theme song. I don't know. Who knows? On the fly, maybe sometime I come up with something. So I'm going to start it off with a wedding. I'm going to end it with a wedding. So first wedding we're going to talk about is J-Lo and Ben Affleck. They tied the knot for the second time this weekend. They said I do again in front of their friends and family at Ben Affleck's $8 million Savannah, Georgia estate. Um, the theme was white, so everybody wore white except for Ben Affleck's black tuxedo pants. Um, they arrived by boat. They arrived by boat and the wedding was officiated by podcaster Jay Shetty. I guess um, Jay, Jay Shetty and J-Lo are, are friends. And the wedding was put together by celebrity organizer, you know, events organizer, Colin Cowie. Some of the people in attendance, besides their family members, was Ben Affleck's longtime childhood friend, Matt Damon, and his, his wife. Um, Kevin Smith, who had directed Ben Affleck in, I believe, like two movies, and his wife. Um, so, there are probably others. I didn't bother to pay that much attention to it. Because if we're being honest, it's, it's another, it's just another wedding. So, I don't know. And her, and also, what I had found out was that her, um, that J-Lo's, wedding dress the train was 20 feet long I mean listen don't come for me but it's your fourth marriage and you're getting out of a boat and you're walking down this big ass long plank not plank this big long whatever 20 feet you need a 20 feet long train. It's it's just it's just a bit much. I mean, good luck to them. But I mean that good luck to them and congratulations. So good luck. Good luck and congratulations is all I'm saying. That's all. Don't come for me. Anybody who is a big fan of J Lo, don't don't come. Don't come for me. Please. Honestly. Um <laughs> okay, in other news, in legal news, and we got some we got some legal news. There's a lot of legal news going on. So R. Kelly is on trial again. His federal trial um in Chicago started this week. He is he's been charged with 13 counts, um, including creating and creating and receiving, I'm just gonna call it CP. Um, child P, I don't know what you can or can't say is frowned upon on on um, Facebook. So I'll just, or on Facebook, on YouTube. So I'll just call it child P. Um, enticing minors into legal sexual activity 
and obstruction of justice. Um, so that, there we go. So he's on trial for all that. Surprising, I know, right? Also in legal news, actor Gary Busey, who you know starred in, starred as Buddy Holly in that Buddy Holly movie decades ago and was nominated for an Oscar. Well, he was arrested in, he was arrested in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. He was attending the annual um, monster convention at the Doubletree Hotel. He was arrested, he's 78 years old. Keep that in mind, because he was arrested and charged with two counts of a criminal sexual contact, one count of criminal, um, one count of criminal attempt and criminal sexual contact, and one count of harassment. You are 78 years old. You're a damn old man. Calm your tits down. Calm them down. That's just it. Okay. And <laughs> this is, this is on a, sh this video is on a straight train to hell. Join me. Okay. In other legal news, listen, don't come for me if you're a fan of this man. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right or not. I'm 54 years old. So Rocky ASAP or Rocky ASAP. I don't know. Rocky ASAP. Is that who is? He's dating Rihanna. He, had a, he just had a baby with Rihanna. Um, that's how I know him. He's pleaded not guilty to um, felony assault with a firearm. Um, he was charged with actually two counts of assault with a semi-automatic firearm. And he has been ordered to return to court November the 2nd. Here's, alleged, here's what happened. Allegedly, he um, this had happened in Hollywood in like November of 2021. Allegedly, he was he was having a fight with a former friend, and allegedly he pulled a gun out and fired it in the direction of said former friend. So there we go. Okay, and in further legal news, Ezra Miller of The Flash um, has issued a statement that they are that they are seeking treatment for a complex mental health issues. And, and had apologized for their actions. So there we go. Hopefully, um, hopefully they get some treatment for, for their mental health issues. So hopefully that he, hopefully they can turn their, their lives around, their life, their life around and, you know, hopefully. Okay. Now also the next two stories I'm going to do are happy. So I want to, I want to, I want to get away from all of the legal issues and I want to wish a belated birthday to Mr. Oh, my second dream lover in all the land, Mr. Andrew Garfield. Um, he turned 39, I believe it was yesterday. So happy birthday, Mr. Andrew Garfield. Oh my gosh. So dreamy. And there are pictures that have been coming out on TikTok of him on his vacations. He seems like he was in Italy and he was, he's all over the place, but he seems to be having just a great time taking his shirt off and running around with the natives. Oh, I, <laughs> oh, I love it. I just, oh, I just love, him. love him. And lastly, we're going to end on a really happy good note with some wedding news. Sarah Highland, who played Haley on Modern Family, she married she married her fiance Wells Adams in an intimate ceremony that took place. Uh, I believe it was an outdoor ceremony. It was yesterday, and it was at Sunstone Winery near Santa Barbara, California. And the couple was married. They met via social media, and. Her, her, Wells Adams, he was actually on, he was a contestant on The Bachelorette in 2016. I think it was JoJo's season. I didn't watch it, but yeah, he was on that. And then he was on Bachelor in Paradise. And they met on, they met on social media. They were engaged two years, two years after that in the summer of 2019. They were supposed to get married in 2020 and then the pandemic hit and they kept pushing it back and pushing it back. 
and they got married this past weekend. Let me tell you, I'm so, so, I am truly happy for this because she, she has had a lot of medical issues in her past and she's had a rough road. So I'm so, so beyond happy that they got married. And at the, um, at the wedding were some of her um, modern family castmates of Sofia Vergara and her son Manolo. Um, Jess, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, who plays, who played Mitch and his husband, um, Nolan Gould, who plays, um, Luke, Haley's, Haley's brother on the show. Also, Julie Bowen, who played Claire Dunphy. They were all in attendance. So, listen, I was so, so, so. So beyond happy that she got her happily ever after. Congratulations to both of them and good luck. And, and here's to many, 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 many years full of happiness and health and love. So on that note, I hope everybody has a great rest of the weekend. I hope you have a great week. If nobody else has told you yet today, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put kindness, love, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there because we all need it. And everybody have a great week. I love you guys. Bye.